Hello everyone and welcome to my review of set 21173 which is the Walmart Lego Minecraft clearance the sky tower. What a what a great surprise here. Now with this set we get ourselves a little bit of stuff. We get ourselves two phantoms, a cat, and then also a Minecraft player there which is standing on some sort of guard. Now everything is supposed to be elevated in the sky, however uh, we're a bit grounded here so let's jump into it. Now our first minifigure of the set is of course Garfield here with a pink nose, some green eyes, and of course a little bit of a orange spot at the top which is a bit of a darker orange than the rest of the cat. Now the cat itself is a mixture of orange and white and for a cat it's a good cat. That's, that's honestly, it's a good cat. Now, there is one play feature included in this cat, and that's that you can move its tail down and then back up if you so choose. Now, this is totally optional, but it's critical to the overall value of the set. Now, we do get one minifigure in this set named The Pilot, and that is their physical name in depth. It's just The Pilot. But they do get themselves this great fireworks rocket, which is red, white, red, white, and then with a red top with a gray stem at the bottom. With the other hand holding this majestic and honestly fantastic looking trident, which is a great mold that you see other themes use, but Star Wars never gets anything. It's just this like, hey, look, it's this thing, but it's not really as good as it could be. But still, it's a fantastic mold here. We do have, if my information is correct, some netherite armor here on uh, the main character itself with a torso uh, that's different than the gunmetal grid because that is being covered up by the elytra, elytra, uh, with this bluish pattern followed up by this brown vest which has some great detailing probably like a little bit of a badge or something with some dark brown detailing honestly a great torso print that i think does the pilot minifigure a lot of justice there with the helmet itself having a nice middle medieval style with these curvatures and also the top where they are quite susceptible to damage now if we take off the helmet we can see their soul struck eyes their goggles and also their dark oranges hair which does complement the uniform quite nicely. The back, meanwhile, consists of the flight wings, or the elytra, which underneath hold two stripes, which have uh, golden buttons with a dark brown center, surrounded by, again, the regular brown with the cyan turquoise blue, which looks very nice. Now, there is also another creature. It's quite big, and it's known as a phantom. Now, the phantom has a unique uh, one by 2 plate there at the front giving it those sulken yellow and green eyes followed up by some wings which you can push down to give it a little bit of flight motion it's nothing too crazy on the mobility front but at least it's something you can have the head move a bit if i actually use my hand and you can have the tail move a bit so you can have some decent posability so that when you get to the tower which is a physical build of the set you can just have the phantom swirling around it like there's some actual motion going on, which does look quite nice and adds a little bit of extra display value to the tower. This is a little bit visible because you can clearly see these, but it's just one way that you could theoretically display this set in a nice manner where it isn't just, here, look, this is my sky garden. Here, do you want some potatoes? But on the topic of this tower, let's cover it. So the base here is supported primarily by a clear windshield piece followed up by a white plate which sticks out to connect to these vines here which lead you up to the next base of the tower which transitions into a tan color transitioning into the turquoise and then black coloration which supports it which on camera looks a lot more like a light blue uh, than it should but we if we take these extra set of vines up we are reached to the main level floor which is simply just a storage area if you want to do something here as use it as an outpost or anything. It's nothing too crazy, however we do also have these support pillars which consist of more vines which theoretically you could use to get to this battlement station where you have a clear and direct form of just kind of combat. 
So you can take your Minecraft player here and put them up there. They can defend against the phantoms if they so choose. So, and they can kind of stab them there or do something with them. Or the ulterior thing is to do is take off one of these sticks from the phantoms and then place it at the bottom. And then you can kind of do like a glide sensation thing where it's like, here, I'm going to the Luke's Homestead kitchen for a while. And then they die. But you know, you can try something like that because they experience kinetic energy and all. We do also get a garden here, which does actually look quite nice for all the stuff that I've been saying about it. You have yourself some rhubarb or beetroot, which I'm assuming it's supposed to be beetroot because that's what's actually in the game. I don't know why rhubarb was the first thing that came to my mind, but we've also got some potatoes in the back with a little bit of a fish in a bucket just because. Why not? And then the waterfall cascades down into the clouds, which is again supported by a windshield piece. Nothing too much to say about the garden, although I think it's a nice little side build to kind of just have included, you know, some food because you're not just going to be running rampant down the ground below because that is not included in the set. The final thing here is this nice big hut, which actually is quite sizable in size. You have a nice little chimney on the outside with some good supports a few windows, and honestly it looks quite nice. It's again supported by those windshield pieces, but overall it does look quite nice and feels like it's quite self-supporting on those clouds. On the front we do have some soul lanterns to kind of light up the front, and if we open up this iron door, we can step inside to see the poorly lit interior, which we can get a better access view into if we simply lift up the top, which has no real support to it, which means that in transport it might fall out, but it does provide easy interior access. Now in the interior we get a few things. We get ourselves a grindstone in the corner next to a furnace. We have an anvil for all your smithing needs, and also a crafting table, which does look quite nice. Now the interior is a little bit small, but you do get a few of your basic Minecraft elements. And you get a little bit of an interior space to put your minifigures in and your cat. And then chuck a few phantoms in there as well because you're going to have a party. And realistically, you can just lock them up in there and never look at your consequences again. Because why would you want to do that? Now let's seal the front door. And there we go. I think that wraps up everything. We do have a spare phantom in here. Uh, but, you know, we can just kind of toss them aside, and, you know, they, they'll they kind of just burn up in the day. Anyways, it is currently... Hey, look at that, it's midday. So, you know what, they should be they should be perfectly fine. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was worth your time, because, uh, let's be honest, it was kind of a train wreck the whole way through. So I thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.